Hello YouTubers, I'm Darren with Grass Ranch Garage and today we're going to be troubleshooting engine speed issues on a Briggs & Stratton Quantum engine. And today we'll be doing this on a 6 horsepower Briggs Quantum. One of the first things I'll be doing is removing the Phillips head screws located here and here on the decorative engine. This step is not required, however I did it to make it easier for you to see what I'll be working on here today. Then you'll want to remove the flathead screw holding the air cleaner cover located here. Now the first thing I would like you to take notice of is this right here. This is your governor linkage which connects the butterfly valve on the carburetor here to the governor arm underneath the fuel tank. Also take note of the governor spring which is located right here which is connected to the loop on the governor rod and this tang right here on the carburetor plate. Now what I've noticed is is the protective guard which attaches here that keeps the throttle and governor linkages from being damaged by debris has been missing and oftentimes what I find when that cover is missing is that the spring is no longer attached however that's not the case here since the spring is still attached to the carburetor and it appears to be in good shape. Another common issue and the one I believe is the problem with this mower is is that while mowing the tang here that the spring attaches to was bumped either by a limb on some shrubbery or while the owner was mowing underneath a deck or anything around his property. When you take this tang and you hit it and you move it this way, the engine speed will decrease and it will increase when you move it the opposite way. What I'm going to do now is I'm simply going to take my finger here and press on this tang, moving it outward toward the front of the engine. The slightest movement here will have a drastic effect on the performance of the mower. I find moving it in sixteenth of an inch increments works best for me. Now I'm going to reattach the beauty shroud to the top of the engine, making sure that the tang at the bottom of the shroud fits into the hole at the top of the engine. Next, I'll be reinstalling the air cleaner cover. Now we're going to test start the mower. And since I have this mower here in my shop, what I'm going to go ahead and do for this customer is, is replace the plastic guard that goes on top of the throttle linkages. I have this one lying around from another mower. And what this will help do is prevent that from occurring again. And now that this repair is complete, I'm going to be cleaning the mower and returning it to its customer. I want to thank you guys for watching this video. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below in the comments section. And I'll try to return your concerns as quickly as possible. And once again, I've been Darren with Grass Ranch Garage. A little bit of knowledge can go a long way. You all have a great weekend.